Hey everybody, let's have a little, a little show and tell about impact location uh, with a driver. Uh, my swing speed's normally around 108 to 110, uh, but I tend to hit it off the toe. Uh, you'll see in my swing that I, I certainly have a postural problem. I tend to stand up in the back swing. Uh, I don't uh, tilt enough toward the target to maintain my inclination to the ground. But I want to show you what, in terms of curve, can happen uh, depending on what the face and path are like the track band shows and what kind of impact location I get. Well, here goes. Alright, so that's a, a little draw. Definitely off the toe. And now uh, let's go check out the track band. So here's, here's my impact location, you know, relative to that piece of tape. Uh, you can certainly see that the good center of my ball is, you know, maybe a uh, half of an inch away from where the center of the sticker is. You know, do I know where the center of gravity of this club is? I have no idea. But let's take a look anyways. So like I said, it's, you know, it's an interesting topic. It comes up a, lit, a lot. Uh, I think it's a really, really big one for good players. Uh, okay, so here we go. This is a perfect example. Here we've got a face angle of 6.4, club path of 3.1, swing speed 110.6, uh, which gives us a face to path of 3.3 to the right. That should have been a slice or fade or something anyways. Ball speed 161. Uh, but I've got a spin axis of negative 3.7. That's why this ball drew. You can see it right on the screen with the Pro Tracer. Kind of goes out and comes back a little bit to the right. It'll carry 261. Now smash factor 1.46 because I hit it on the toe. So, so you can certainly see that just by that impact location, I took a ball that should have sliced significantly or so and ended up hitting a little push draw that only ended up you know, 31 feet to the right of the target. Uh, so, especially for you better players, you know, knowing where you hit the face and what your conditions are, it's a really big deal. I still think so. Let me know what you think. Bye. Everybody, here's a little sideline to that one I just shot. This was my very next shot. Almost the same conditions, but because of a different impact location, let's see where this ball went. So here we go. This one, club path was four, face to the right, so 2.4 degrees open face relative to the path. Pretty similar to the last swing. Uh, swing speed was way down, but smash factor uh, was better. I hit that one much more in the middle. Didn't have the tape on it, so I can't show you. Uh, but look on the tracer where that ball went. You know, mile to the right. 100 feet to the right. So just because of the impact location, I changed the direction of the ball from one swing to the other by 70 feet. You know, that's a that's a major, major, major concern for fairly high swing speed players uh, in terms of controlling where the ball actually lands. They better know where they're going to hit it on the face and do it repeatedly. Hope that was interesting for you. Again, impact location. I think it's a big deal. See ya.